Hello there and welcome back. So if you're concerned about your online security and privacy while using your Mac, you're not alone. In today's digital age, it's critical to take precautions to protect yourself and your personal information when browsing the internet. A virtual private network or VPN is one option to keep you secure. A VPN is a service that encrypts your internet connection and conceals your online activity from prying eyes. Using a VPN is especially important when using public Wi-Fi or untrustworthy networks as it protects you from hackers and data thieves. But how do you choose a VPN when there are so many options available? Here's where we come in. Now, normally I would not recommend using a free VPN for several reasons. I'll explain why pretty soon. To begin with, free VPNs may not offer the same level of security as paid alternatives. This is because they may not have the resources to invest in strong encryption and other security measures. Second, free VPNs may have data or bandwidth limits, which can be inconvenient if you use a VPN for the majority of your online activity. Finally, some free VPNs may generate revenue by selling user data or displaying advertisements, which means that even though the service is free, you may be paying for it with your personal information. As a result, it's critical to thoroughly research and consider these potential drawbacks before selecting a free VPN. In some cases, it may be worth investing in a paid VPN service to get the best security and performance. But if you want a safe and free VPN, I recommend ProtonVPN and TunnelBear. And I chose these two specifically because they have a good privacy policy that does not profit from the sale of your data. You will, however, be restricted in some ways. You'll only have three countries with Proton, and the speeds will be throttled for two reasons. The first is that servers are naturally congested because they're free, and the second is that the faster servers are reserved for paying customers. However, you still get a kill switch and split tunneling, and there is no data cap, so you can keep using it without the fear of bandwidth limitations. Now, TunnelBear allows you to access all of their locations, but there is a one and a half gigabyte data cap, so you'll quickly run out of data and have to subscribe. Not to mention that using free servers will prevent you from unblocking streaming services or downloading torrent files. So if you don't want to put up with these restrictions and are looking for a premium VPN, here are three options. I've tried dozens of VPNs and have narrowed it down to these three. They all have different price ranges and benefits, so choose based on your individual needs and preferences. To begin with, ExpressVPN is a popular choice among many users due to its fast speeds and stable connections. Because it eliminates buffering and lag, it's an excellent choice for streaming video or online gaming. It also prioritizes security with military-grade encryption and a no-logs policy to protect your privacy. ExpressVPN also has a large network of 3,000 servers in 94 countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the world. It's also compatible with a wide range of devices including Mac, Windows, iOS, Android, and others. ExpressVPN is also known as one of the most dependable VPNs for use in restricted countries as it is the most consistent in circumventing advanced censorship firewalls such as China's Great Firewall. Following that is NordVPN, another highly rated VPN with a large server network. NordVPN has over 5400 servers in 60 countries, allowing you to easily access content from all over the world while circumventing internet censorship. It has a number of security features, including double VPN encryption and a strict no-logs policy. NordVPN also works with a variety of devices, including Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android. It also has advanced security features like kill switch and split tunneling, though split tunneling is not available on Mac, as well as protection against DNS and IPv6 leaks. NordVPN also has tons of extra features that I find useful. The best example is threat protection, which blocks ads and malware infected websites and protects your device from infected files, effectively acting as a mini antivirus. MeshNet, which allows remote access via encrypted connections, and the dark web monitor, which monitors for data leaks involving your personal information, are the two other extra features. You also have the app Kill Switch, which disconnects specific applications rather than cutting off all internet traffic as their traditional Kill Switch does. Dedicated IP, double VPN, obfuscated servers, onion over VPN, and P2P optimized servers are also available. But for the time being, that's all I have to say about NordVPN. The final entry in today's video will be none other than Surfshark. Surfshark is a low cost VPN that provides high quality service at a low cost. It has an expanding network of over 3,200 servers in 100 countries that allows you to access content from all over the world. It also includes a kill switch and other useful security features. Split tunneling is referred to as bypasser here, though it's not available on Mac. 
and you get two specialty servers such as multi-hop or double VPN, static IP, and DNS leak protection. Surfshark works on the majority of platforms including Mac, Windows, iOS, and Android. Surfshark's ability to support virtually an unlimited number of simultaneous connections with a single account is perhaps its most appealing feature. You can use it on all of your devices at the same time or share it with as many friends and family members as you want. And so to sum things up, if you want an excellent, dependable, and consistent VPN that's simple to use and places a strong emphasis on privacy and anonymity, ExpressVPN is an excellent choice. NordVPN is a well-rounded VPN that provides a lot of valuable at a reasonable price if you're looking for something a little less expensive that still provides high performance, great security, and a slew of extra features. Surfshark, on the other hand, is an excellent choice if you're looking for the best budget VPN that simply does the job at a low cost without sacrificing any of the premium features found in the more expensive VPNs. And that concludes this video. If you're interested in any of these VPNs, I'll include links to the pricing and discounts if you want to get started right away, as well as links to an in-depth reviews if you want more information on all three VPNs. In any case, they're all backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, so if you're unhappy with any of them for any reason, you can get a full refund. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one.